Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the problem of linear algebra CSI NEET June 2019. Example number 28 booklet C marks 3. Let V be the vector space of polynomials in the variable T of degree at most 2 over R and inner product on V is defined by inner product F with G is equal to integration 0 to 1 F T G T D T for F G belongs to V. Let W span by the vectors 1 minus T square 1 plus T square and W per be the orthogonal complement of W in V which of the following conditions satisfy for all H belongs to W per. First option H is an even function that means H T is equal to H of minus T. Second option H is an odd function that means H T is equal to minus times H of minus T. Third option H T is equal to 0 has real solution. And the fourth option H of 0 is equal to 0. Now first we recall two concepts orthogonal vectors and orthogonal complement. So orthogonal vectors two vectors u and v are orthogonal if their inner product is 0. Orthogonal complement Orthogonal complement of a subspace w of a vector space v is the set w per of all vectors in V that are orthogonal to every vector in W. That means orthogonal complement W per is a set of all those vectors which are perpendicular to every vector in W. That means if W belongs to W per then W inner product with U is 0 for every U in W. Now suppose ST belongs to W per, so ST belongs to V and V contain the polynomials in variable T of degree at most 2. So ST is in the form of A plus BT plus CT square. Now it is belongs to W per, so it is orthogonal to every vector of W. So it is orthogonal to 1 minus T square, 1 plus T square and hence we have inner product h with 1 minus t square is 0 and inner product h with 1 plus t square is 0. Now we have given the definition of inner product f with g is equal to integration 0 to 1 f t g t dt. So inner product 1 minus t square is equal to 0. So by the definition it is integration 0 to 1 h t 1 minus t square dt where ht is equal to a plus bt plus ct square into 1 minus t square dt equal to 0. Now just we open the brackets and integrate. After the integration we evaluate between the limits 0 to 1. If we put 0 then lower limit is 0 and if we put 1 then we have a minus a by 3 plus b by 2 minus b by 4 plus c by 3 minus c by 5 equal to 0. Now after the simplification we have equation 40a plus 15b plus 8c is equal to 0. Now we have another condition h inner product 1 plus t square is equal to 0 and we apply the definition then we have the second equation after the integration a t a plus 45 e plus 32 c equal to 0. Now we have two equation and three unknowns by simple elimination we are able to find the value of a and b a is equal to 1 by 5 c and b is equal to minus 16 by 15 c. Since h t is equal to a plus b t plus c t square then substitute the value of a and b then we have h t is equal to c by 15 3 minus 16 t plus 15 t square. Now we are going to find the h of minus t just replace t by minus t in the definition of h t then we have c by 15 3 minus t minus minus plus t so we have 3 plus 16 t plus 15 t square but which is not equal to h of t therefore ht is not an even function and which is the first option so first option is wrong which is 
also not equal to minus times ht therefore it is not an or function so second option is also wrong now ht is equal to 0 but c is not 0 for all the polynomials so this bracket is 0 then we have 3 minus 16 t plus 15 t square equal to 0 now it is a quadratic equation so we have delta b square minus 4ac b is equal to minus 16 a is equal to 15 and c is equal to 3 we have value of delta which is 76 greater than 0 and hence this quadratic equation has real solutions and therefore the third option that h of t equal to 0 has real solution is correct and the last option h of 0 so if we put t equal to 0 then 16 t term will be 0 15 t square term will be 0 then we have 3 c by 15 and c is not 0 for all the polynomials therefore h of 0 equal to 0 is not always and hence the fourth option is also wrong thanks for watching for more videos like share subscribe and press the bell icon of next gen mess